all right guys hello everyone welcome back to yet another little guide a macro a macro guide so let's cut to the chase so what i'm about to show you is swapping between the same type of weapon or the same weapon which has a different poison on them now on uh, certain situations you want to apply a deadly poison and sometimes you want to apply a wound poison me for my case i have an um, edge of oppression from Magista's Terrace. It has a 1.3 speed, so that's an optimal offhead for me to use to shiv. And I'm shiving my deadly poisons with it. It's enchanted with a adamantite weapon chain. Mostly I'm using it against warriors. It's half in the duration of this arm and uh, stuff like that, yeah. On the other edge of oppression I have is Executioner. I'm using this as my uh, wound poison spam. It's also 1.3 speed, just as the other one because it's the same weapon and because it's the same weapon your macro may sometimes fuck up because you want to swap the the same name of the item the same item with the same name and it doesn't work so what you gotta do is have a uh, script I can post it in the comments of course I'm gonna put it into the screen as well I got it copy paste here for me and of course I have my two macros I uh, want and I already bind them onto my keybind so I know where they where they are. I got one, it's called Dagger Executioner. The other I'm gonna call Dagger Weapon Chain. Weapon Char. Whatever, this works. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna copy paste the script I put in the description. And now what we gonna do is get an ID of those weapons we have. So that's Edge of Oppression. Two times, it's one with the adamantite chain weapon, one with the executioner. Now, if we spam the script, something's gonna turn out in the chat. It's ex equip slot 16, that's your main hand, and equip slot 17, that's your offhand. And both of them are the same item, but they have a different ID because they have a different enchant. Now, you can see this enchant, of course, is um, by the last digit. The one is uh, ending with a 3, the other one is ending with a 5. So, what we can do Easy use that and put it in our macros. We know that the adamantite chain weapon ending with a free is gonna get in here. So we got our macro it like equip slot 17. This is our offhand item 34606 Okay, this should work for the edge of oppression with adamantite chain weapon. Save that. We can actually copy paste this one. Get in the. Oh, hold on. This is the weapon chain. And this one is the executioner. I want the executioner with the last digit of a 5 instead of a 3. Gonna put this here. Now, when I'm fighting this dummy and applying my poisons, let's see. Let's take the other guy. This one is already poisoned. Just take any weapon here. Now, I want uh, my deadly poison. That's why I'm gonna. Click my deadly poison, uh, my wound poison. I'm sorry, <laughs> it works. So yeah, you get the idea. And for deadly poisons as well, there is a deadly poison. All right, guys. If you like that guide, it was pretty quick. I hope you can see through all of it and uh, apply it to your game and improve your gameplay. So if you like it, thumb up and comment. Peace out.